Tens of thousands of people in Georgia and Washington state have just joined the quarter of a million Democrats who already voted uncommitted in eight states. The votes are still being counted, but it's clear this movement among registered Democrats to either vote uncommitted or abandon Biden is not going away. This has become a real nightmare for Biden. He is tanking in the swing states that were essential to his victory in 2020. Arab and Muslim communities started this movement to hold him accountable for the Gaza genocide and his broken promises. But now the protest vote is growing and we welcome this movement, which is really an extension of the mass movement in support of Palestine that has been taking the streets and disrupting the politicians who support genocide day in and day out. That this is causing a political crisis for the war makers, it's a good thing. In fact, the political crisis is so severe that even some of the leading establishment figures, people who love Biden, are saying he should drop out. After all, Trump is far ahead in the polls. Even a majority of 2020 Biden voters say he's not fit for the job. So why isn't he dropping out? Well, it's the same reason he's in there to begin with. Let's not forget in 2020, Biden was put in to defeat and subdue the progressive groundswell from the Democratic base. He wasn't genuinely popular himself. He didn't even campaign, but the establishment united around him as a means to defeat Bernie Sanders, who they feared could channel the progressive demands of tens of millions of people. And they're facing a similar problem today. Although today it's not with Bernie, Think about it. Who would the Democratic Party put up instead of Biden? All of the major figures in the party would face similar problems because they've all run cover for Biden and they all run cover for the genocide. Even if Biden drops out, the establishment would do the same thing and they would try to crush and silence any progressive challengers. Biden's real problem isn't his age. It's how do you build enthusiasm among a progressive base with a candidate who basically has a right-wing program. The truth is, the Democratic Party's problems go way deeper than Biden. They have a massive class contradiction between the base they need to win and their leaders who serve the main institutions and centers of corporate power. Biden represents them, but if he goes away, that contradiction is still there. We know that if you go through all of the core issues, healthcare, housing, minimum wage, He's now at war. The Democratic base is so much further to the left. When we're out in the streets campaigning, a big section of the working class embraces the PSL program. When you go issue by issue, it's not even close. And it's not even just the blue states, but the red states as well. The trick that they're playing on all of us is to have us believe that the only alternative to one capitalist and imperialist party is the other capitalist and imperialist party. That no other alternative is credible so that we have to keep coming back to them at the end of the day. What we need to break this cycle is to break up the two-party duopoly. That would be a huge development for the arrival of radical politics in this country. And remember, we don't have to be afraid of radical because radical just means going to the root to actually change the things that need to be changed. They're concerned that if Biden drops out in the chaos, a third party alternative will become attractive. So they'd rather shove a losing candidate down our throats and make their own base apathetic than open the door to that. We want our campaign to become a vehicle for that process. This uncommitted movement, this protest vote speaks to why we started this campaign to begin with. We understood when we launched this campaign that a process was underway, a historical process by which young people in particular, but other communities as well, would feel that they have no future with the Democratic Party or with the Republican Party. And what this campaign has always been about from the very beginning is saying, you don't just have to check out of politics. Yes, you should abandon Biden and Trump. You should abandon mainstream parties, but you don't have to abandon politics. You can vote, you can organize too, and you can vote uncommitted for now, but you can become committed to building a working class and socialist movement. And that's our invitation to you. Yes, we'll run for office, but more important than that, it's organizing for a better world. Organizing every day in our schools, in our workplaces, in our neighborhoods, in our streets. Our campaign is part of that larger process of people breaking free of these two corporate parties. And that's a process that's irreversible. And it's the only thing that offers us a future.